This is where I stayed last night, the George Hotel in Chelyford. I think that's how you say it at least. Um, it hasn't, wasn't my best um, experience here as compared to the other places I stayed, but this is like the only thing in town. So I really was limited on my choices if I wanted just to stay on the trail. But um, yeah, I mean, it looks really pretty, but coffee was horrible. Hi, it's me again. I'm starting day four. Um, thank you all for your very kind comments and messages and um, all the kind words that you sent to me. It means a lot to me. Um, today I am um, hiking 12 miles to a little village called One Sprood. Um, according to the guidebook, there's going to be a lot of really cool things to see along here. So um, I'll be sure to videotape anything that I think you might be interested in. Um, I did have a couple questions. Somebody wanted to know how much I was hiking a day. First day I hiked about seven miles. The second day I hiked about eight miles. And yesterday, believe it or not, I hiked 19 miles. I know that's like a hard n number to like wrap your head around, um, even as for me. Um, I do have to say that I felt like the hiking was a lot different and easier than when I backpack on the Appalachian Trail. Um, things were very well marked. A lot of very gentle rolling grasslands and hills, a lot of sheep farms. Um, but I was really surprised to hike that far. Kind of knew it was going to be that, that far. I didn't want to think about it. Kind of put it in the back of my mind every time I was... Uh, Thinking that I was walking too fast, I just slowed it down. Luckily up here, um, since we're so far north, the sun doesn't set till after 10. So I didn't have to worry about um, it getting dark while I was hiking. I ended up hiking from nine in the morning to about 6.30. And I stopped around three at a tea room for something to eat. And it was really good. It was a really, really nice day. So, um, there's supposed to be really cool things on this hike, part of the hike, so if I see anything, I'll be sure to videotape them. But thank you all for everything. Bye. Okay, this is like one of the numerous ladders um, that you need to climb over. I swear I must have done about 30 of them yesterday. The acorn tells me where to go. They're pretty easy to find. But yeah, you need to climb over these ladders to get over this livestock fencing. Yeah, I must have done like 30 yesterday. Looks like I'm coming on to some of Hadrian's wall. This is crazy. This is like 200 AD. You just watch, walk up and touch it. it. Used to be a lot higher. So this is black carts. This is a turret or a tower um, that was on the wall that used to. How's a group of soldiers that used to keep watch? That's all that's left of it. Pretty cool. It's Scotland way, way, way over there. Yup. Y'all remember when I was saying that um, I had a really bad cup of coffee this morning at the hotel? I just came across this lady who has a van on the wall walk. She's out here every day making coffee, selling sausage rolls. So I am enjoying a nice cup of coffee and a sausage roll right now. I'm so happy.
This is a Roman temple um, erected around 200 AD for a Roman god called, I think its name's Mithras. I just can't believe something that old is just like sitting in here in the field. This is house steads and this is um, the remains of a Roman fort and it's on top of this huge hill. In 22 AD. I can't believe it. I'm almost done. Hiked about 12 to 13 miles today. Um, just came down that big hill slash cliff and I'm heading into one sprood. Um, I hiked about six miles with somebody today. He had done the, um, the path before 20 years ago and he was doing it again. Um, and his wife was following along in a camper van, um, parking lot to parking lot, which was kind of cool. So it was nice to have company. He told me a lot about the history of um, Hadrian's Wall. Um, so I am gonna head on down to one sprood and hopefully get something to eat.